This is Jesus Manuel Menagarza. I hope you're doing fantastic wherever you are. This is part two, and it's a very apropos uh, term, part two of a series I'm doing on cassette toilets and ba basically toilets in general for outdoorsy folks. I'm going to explain uh, the differences uh, between them and also talk about my experiences uh, pooping in the great American outdoors, okay? So, when my wife and I were a bit younger, we would uh, put on our 50, 60 pound backpacks with our rolls and our bed rolls and, uh, and our little two person tent, uh, which we should have bought a bigger tent, you know, it's uh, pretty compact. So we would camp like in the Sierras and hike in the mountains and, and uh, nobody would be around us for quite a few miles, at least that's what we thought. And we camp by a lake, like for example, Aloha Lake or one of the other lakes up in the uh, desolation wilderness area. So when we needed to poop, there were no convenient toilets nearby. There were no, uh, uh, you know, places, uh, you, you know, where I can poop or pee. So what I do is um, I would take a little trowel, a little trowel, you know, a little garden trowel, a little plastic trowel, and I would uh, determine the distance from the uh, water. You know, you don't want to poop near the water. You don't want to poop near a stream. You don't want to poop near a trail. You don't want people stepping into your poop, okay? So I would uh, find a nice spot that's away from everything, and I dig a pretty good little trench. You have to plan ahead of time. You don't just do it <laughs> just right before. So you dig a nice trench, and you make a nice hole, and then you sit on it uh, pretty close to it, and you do your business, okay? put your toilet paper there and everything, and then you cover it. You throw rocks on it. You throw everything on it and you smash it and compact it. And because animals, be they chipmunks, bears, uh, mountain lions, the list goes on. They're interested in what you're up to, so they want to check it out. So you try to make it as uh, inconspicuous and cover it with other materials as possible. So that's how I used to camp, I mean used to poop, and uh, in, the, in the wilderness, okay? Other ways that I used to, you know, go to the restroom, I said, you know, there would be a restroom on the site where I'm camping, you know, pit toilet, flush toilet. The range is tremendous. Some super clean, super fabulous, you know, uh, flush toilets to uh, pit toilets that somebody just recently had uh, explosive diarrhea in, okay? So you have options. From super horrific to actually quite pleasant, okay? So you have those options at a lot of campgrounds, okay? So we have RVs too. There's different kinds of uh, toilets a lot of people are using in RVs, okay? Now, the most popular is a black tank, essentially a tank that's anywhere between 20, 25, 30, 35, 45. Uh, in my previous video, I talked about Lance uh, travel trailers. They have 45 gallon uh, fresh, gray, and black. That's why I remember the size of their tanks. They're always 45, it seems, on most of their travel trailers. So that's a good size uh, tank for black tank 45 gallons quite a bit so you uh, you put some chemicals in there a little bit of water and you start pooping in there peeing in there and it collects and it becomes a slurry eventually because the chemicals are breaking it down be they uh, biodegradable chemicals or just other kinds of chemicals and it sort of uh, creates a slurry that can be you know exited you know you can uh, you can get rid of at a dump station, okay? Be at, at your actual campsite or actual uh, dump site at a, at a facility, okay? So that's uh, black tanks, okay? Very convenient. Uh, most RVs have black tanks. I estimate just being at the top of my little cabeza here, 98% uh, of RVs have black tanks, okay? Then you have uh, well, something, the two newer options, uh, especially in the United States, maybe not in Europe. In Europe, they use quite a bit of the cassette toilet. But I'm going to talk about composting toilets, okay? Composting toilets are basically are, you create a biological action, you know, uh, activity in, your, in a tank. And it's a pretty good-sized tank. Uh, and you put some, you know, uh, material in there, and you churn it up with your poop. Every time you poop, you churn it up. And it's, so, and it's supposed to, you know, create this compost. That's why they call it a composting toilet. And then you're supposed to pee in another area. So you don't want your pee and your poop mixed up, okay? So that's, those are the hard facts. Can you deal with it? So 
uh, a composting toilet, typically you can, it'll last a week, two weeks before you have to dump the compost. Okay. The pea only lasts uh, that little container, a little container, it's about a quart, two quarts, who knows. And uh, that only lasts about one, two, three days. I don't matter how much you have to pee. I have to pee a lot lately, more than I used to. When I was younger, I didn't pee that much, but now I pee a lot more, so that, that thing's gonna fill pretty fast. So it's a very biologically uh, sound way of managing your waste, okay? Apparently. Again, uh, the composting part of it lasts a week, two weeks, three weeks, all, no matter how much you poop, and the peeing only lasts two, three days before you have to get rid of that stuff, okay? And where are you gonna dump it? It's your option, okay? <laughs> Some folks just, hey, that looks good. Hey, there it goes. <laughs> That's how people are, okay? Finally, I'm gonna be talking about cassette toilets. In Europe, they're super popular. All their RVs seem to have a, you know, cassette toilets. Very nice, very compact. You know, you open a door on the side of your RV and out comes a little, a, cus, a little holder for your poop, a five gallon holder for your poop. Typically has a handle and you walk with it and you take it somewhere and then you pull out the little spigot and you dump it. You dump, okay? Your pee and your poop, you're dumping it, okay? Very nice. But again, it's only five gallons. Compare, uh, you know, like a Winnebago Echo with its five gallon poop tank. Uh, compared to uh, and all of you know, like a, for example, a Lance travel trailer with its 45 gallon, <laughs> you know, poop tank. It's a big difference. Five, five versus 45. That's nine times more capacity in the black tank of the Lance as compared to the Winnebago Echo. Okay. So how long more can you stay out in the wilderness before you have to dump? your five gallon tank as compared to 45. So you tell me, you tell me. Again, it doesn't mean that some people will just dump their little uh, black uh, cassette tank uh, uh, somewhere, they'll dig a little hole, just like I used to dig in the wilderness, you know, by the, when I used to backpack and dig a hole with their shovel and then dump their tanks, which is illegal, by the way, in a lot of parks. You know, you know that's five gallons, it's not, you know, uh, you know, uh, a pint worth of stuff. It's a, it's five gallons of poop and pee and toilet paper, okay? Not good. And chemistry. So there is a differentiation in the marketplace right now. They're trying to make people excited about these outdoorsy vehicles. They're four-wheel drive. You can take your bicycles. You can take your snowboards. You can, you know, your kayaks. You can go out in the middle of nowhere, have a great time, and be fabulous out there. Be totally amazing. You know, be totally cool. You'll have a little, you know, one of those lumpy haircuts, a little ponytail where they do a little lump here. <laughs> and you're hanging out with your buds all in the mid-twenties, thirties, you're all just cool. Cool! And you're just hanging out, but you know, using that toilet, you only have five days, and if you have more friends, you know, three days, and if you have a hell of a lot of friends, you know, just, you know, a couple days of poop that you can put in, like I said, what are you gonna do with it? Are you gonna say, okay, we had our two days in the wilderness, three days in the wilderness, let's get back to civilization and dump those toilets. Sort of defeats the purpose, huh? So you're out in the middle of nowhere and you have to dump a toilet. You have to go back to civilization. And they show these photographs, beautiful photographs of individuals, you know, at the campfire with their bicycle and their dog and their five of them. And they're hanging by their, hanging out by their Winnebago Echo. Looks idyllic. I'd love to have a Winnebago Echo. If Winnebago wants to give me an Echo, I'll take it. Thank you very much. I greatly appreciate it. So, uh, but the reality is a lot different from the uh, imagined, okay? Uh, those tanks, those black tanks don't last very long. So that's the big, you know, limitation, the Achilles heel of the Echo and a lot of RVs that have these cassette toilets. They're small, five gallons. That's compared to 45 gallons, okay? Five gallons versus 45 gallons. So that's the what I was talking about in my other video. And this is part two appropriately called part two of the uh, series that I'm t on uh, cassette, black tank, and composting toilets. 
what do you think? Have any comments? Uh, please leave them below. And again, I really, really like all RVs. Uh, if I had a, uh, an RV like an Echo with, a, you know, the uh, cassette toilet, I have to be very careful and figuring out how am I going to go out in the great American outdoors? Am I going to have another container to collect what's in the, you know, little cassette toilet? Maybe I have to buy another container. This is my dumping I'm in the back of, you know, where I dump all my waste. And it's 30 gallons or so, so I can stay out longer. Of course, it's not going to smell. It's never going to smell. So I'm having my coffee here in uh, Fort Worth, Texas. Hope you're doing fantastic wherever you're at. Thanks for watching my videos. Don't forget to like, subscribe, uh, and share. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. Thank you very much. My channel's growing very slowly, slowly, a little bit by a little bit. Uh, uh, again, thank you very much. And if you have any comments regarding my uh, pooping, uh, uh, my video here on pooping, number one and number two, uh, you know, please leave them below. I'll check them out and I'll try to respond as quickly as I can. Thank you very much. Again, leave your kind and super friendly and professional comments abajo, below. This has been Asus Manuel Menagarza talking about uh, pooping. Hope you're doing fantastic wherever you're at and you have a fantastic RV. I just got some bad news from the folks at Juan RV, by the way. I was supposed to receive my uh, travel trailer in August of 2021, and now we're in middle September 21, and I just got an email from the folks at Juan, and they're saying, uh, it might be November. It might be November. Oh, I had plans to go camping in October and November. I guess whoosh, those are canceled. Such is life, okay? From Fort Worth, Texas, this has been Jesus Manuel Menagarza. Gracias. Adios. Bye-bye.